Rebecca from Art Resin, and I'm here today with Sarah Walker. Hey, Rebecca, I'm so excited to be here with you and Dave and to be working on this really amazing piece. We are working on the feature piece to hang above my fireplace for my one room challenge space for the fall 2015 edition. Got this gorgeous piece from a new wall and I wanted to show how it's possible to take a piece of art that is maybe more of a production piece mm -hmm. and customize it so that you've got something that's completely unique for your space. Dramatic beautiful with a high gloss finish that only art bars are good for that. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things I'm most excited about and the reason that I reached out to you guys is because art resin is really unique for two significant reasons, to me anyway, which are it's totally VOC free, mm -hmm. which is a big deal to me. And then it also is very unique in the space of resin in that it doesn't yellow. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your story and then we'll dive in. Dave and I started using resin because we liked the look of it. And then once we were using it, we found that the hard way that most of the resins, at least at the time, had a lot of problems. Not only were they really highly toxic, mm -hmm. uh, but they also would basically just ruin the artwork over time. Mm -hmm. So that set us on a three year adventure of um, trying to pair up with a chemist that could do what we wanted to do, make a resin that was non-toxic and that wouldn't yellow. And so that is what we have now. Incredible, I think we should dive in. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Yeah. A lot of my readers are going to be wanting to follow along and do this themselves. So why don't you talk us through what the steps are for us to get this absolutely perfect. Sure, well it's really easy. First of all, all we've done here is we have taped off underneath this piece with some painter's tape. That is so that when the resin drips down the sides, the drips will collect on the tape and then you can just easily pull the tape right off. We've also propped this up, in this case on some baby blocks. Make sure that the piece is level, because when we go and pour the resin on top, the resin is gonna be level no matter what. So you want your piece to also be level. Now we need to figure out how much product we're actually gonna use. So to do that, we're gonna use the calculator on iResin.com. We've determined that for this piece, that is 29 inches by 54 inches, we need 3 eighths of a gallon. So we have our one gallon kit right here, resin and hardener. When it says 3 eighths of a gallon, it means combined. Right, okay. So we're gonna do half of that in the hardener, half of that in the resin. It's just an easy one to one ratio. I'm not wearing a mask, and I'm very sensitive to smells. I'm very you smell sensitive. anything? I smell nothing. Right? Like, this is amazing. So how's that? Is that mixed for Nope. Okay, keep so going. It's funny that you just did that. If people are going to mess up with their art resin at yeah. all, yep. the number one thing they do is they do not stir. There you go. For long enough. Okay. So we always say stir for three minutes solid, oh. and we mean it. If you don't stir it long enough, yep. you run the risk of parts of your mixture not being catalyzed properly, mm -hmm. in which case it will never, ever, ever cure. So you want to put your gloves on and let's talk about why, Rebecca. Oh, uh, well, just it's really sticky. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mess. I mean, our proxy resin is classified as an adhesive. Even though this is no VOCs, no fumes, all that stuff, yeah. it still is a chemical. As long yeah. as you're um, using common sense, yeah. <laughs> you're fine. Let's say you do get on your skin. It happens to me quite often. I sure. just use up the water and get it up. Yeah. Okay, we're going to pour it. Okay, so go just give her. So we're using these cool little sweaters. You can mm -hmm. these on our pump, and as you see, they are jagged. Mm -hmm. It makes it so that you can pull your resin evenly and still leave some behind, right? Exactly. So it doesn't push it all away, but it pushes just enough away so that you yeah. can nicely control. So with my gloved hand, I'm just smoothing out the edges wiping up any drips. And now we come to the very, very fun part of getting rid of all these bubbles. We're gonna use these little kitchen flambe torches. We're just gonna kind of run it along the top and you will see how awesome it is to get rid of all the bubbles because it works so well. Yay. Check that out. Sure. Wow, it's amazing, hey? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you just so, kind of run it at, at So how far away do you want to be? You'll be able to tell. If you're too far away, you'll see that the bubbles, it doesn't touch Arc the bubbles. Bobbing. Okay. Yeah, but if you are sort of a couple inches away, yep. you'll see that those bubbles uh, start to just no hope. Poof. Yeah. Our yes. resin's non flammable, so you don't have to worry about that. So there you go, Sarah. We're almost done. What do you think? Um, it's amazing. Even though saturation is a term we use around color, but there's still there's so much more depth and life to the piece. I think it looks amazing. I'm super excited to see it once it's dry. I do too. So all we're gonna do now is um, we're just gonna cover it with a box so that no dust can really settle into this. Yeah. We're gonna leave it overnight, and tomorrow you'll have a beautiful piece ready Yay. to hang. Cannot wait. Let's do it. Yay. So we're all done, what do you think, Sarah? Oh my gosh, I totally love it. It looks incredible, and uh, I love the drama that it's bringing to the room. 
I do too. Resin has really upped the ante on the contrast in the piece. It's more expensive looking too. It's it totally rich. is. I'm thrilled with the end result. Well, we're thrilled, you're thrilled. Yay! <laughs> it's been such a pleasure working with you guys at Art Resin. It's one week left until my one room challenge is complete and revealed. So be sure to check the curatedhouse.com to see the whole room in all of its glory. Also make sure to follow Art Resin on Instagram and YouTube for some great inspiration on creating your own customized art with Art Resin.